Ciao, sono Francesco Taranto, bentornati alla nostra rubrica Young Guns, alla ricerca di giovani talenti musicali. È venuto a trovarci il cantautore canadese Dwayne Forrest, che ha da poco pubblicato il suo disco The Climb. Il disco si chiama così perché eh, tratta della crescita personale e della ricerca spirituale appunto di Dwayne, ed è ispirato anche dai suoi tanti viaggi che ha fatto tra Messico, Honduras e chiaramente Canada. Seguite allora la nostra intervista e il mini live acustico che ha fatto per noi Dwayne Forrest. From the bottomless pit my strong Yeah, yeah, it's um I called it the climb because um uh it's about personal growth but uh particularly um uh within a relationship. Um uh the story comes from a, a, a lady that I met in Mexico and she told me in Spanish that uh She's an apple in the tree, and in the tree there are many apples, but if I want to be with her, I have to climb to the top. So I really like the story, and um, I thought about what it means to climb, and, and what, it, what my partner's worth would be, and, and what my worth is, and I decided to start writing music about it. None of them can stop the time. Yeah, 100%. Um, I, I really um, appreciate culture and, and languages and, of course, their music. Um, and it's part of the reason why I like to travel. And I, I hear the different styles and um, the different ways they write um, words in their language and how they approach songwriting. And I've been trying to take a little bit from each place I go and, and like, add it to my, my soup of music, you know? Bare feet will walk, I love those cute toes. Yeah, it was easy for me to find my style because um, uh, uh, I, I grew up listening to music. My mom, uh, she's Jamaican, my mom and dad, and um, they played a lot of music. And Jamaicans really appreciate a lot of music, not just reggae. Um, we listen to all sorts of music, country, jazz. So I grew up listening to that mix. And um, so already it was easy for me to uh, start to develop that sort of uh, mixed sound. And, um, and my love of travel made it easier uh, for me just to add these elements to the music. And I hope to add more. She cried a little bit. The Italian people really appreciate music. Um, it's, uh, uh, I'm not just saying this because I'm in Italy doing this interview. Um, they, they've received me the, the warmest. Um, they're always so kind and um, um, really, I think, appreciate new music and, and appreciate a, a foreigner coming to visit to share art with them. So, yeah, it's been a really good reception and I hope it continues so I can keep coming back and drinking wine and eating lasagna and stuff like that. Life's like an ocean, it's wide and it's open. Possibilities floating around in the big avenue. Yeah, so um, Genesis Community of the Arts is a, it's an arts education project. And uh, I used to live in Honduras when I was traveling. And I saw that many people that were adults um, didn't know, had never had a chance to um, play an instrument or paint or, or do different forms of dance. And I thought it was a terrible, terrible thing and I wanted to change it. So I started teaching art, music and dance out of my house in, in Copan, Honduras. And eventually it grew and um, too many kids were coming. So I had to go and find Hondurans that could teach art, music or dance. And that's how Genesis was born. And so now we have five teachers um, over three sites in Honduras and in Guatemala.